So, okay, we are officially recording. It is Freedom Friday, and we're going to do it a new way today because, uh, you know, life happens, right? <laughs> and we, we address that every day. So, Cliff, I am just ridiculously thankful to have you joining us today because you have so much wisdom and so much experience. And I am so thrilled to be partnering with you in our future endeavors. And so share with us how we convince you to join us today. Uh, you didn't have to convince me, April. If you asked me, I was going to be there um, uh, because you're a, a fantastic coach and uh, you really have people that want to gravitate towards you. So there was no convincing that it had to be done. <laughs> well, we're excited to have you. Cliff, share a little bit about your experience, your journey just what inspires you uh, to transform lives? Well, I, it really started young, I guess, um, but my career was in sales and sales management for large corporations. And, um, but I never was totally fulfilled by doing that. And I, I started to really look internally to see what, what was it that I really thought uh, I was put on this earth to do. And, um, I, you know, I, I started by looking at what, what made me happy, you know, what really, really made me happy. And I noticed that during my selling career, the one thing that I enjoyed more than anything else was actually mentoring, uh, mentoring other sales reps and watching them perform and, and get uh, actually great at what they did. So along with that night, about 15 years ago, I started coaching some high school sports because of um, my children getting involved. And, you know, they're the same thing. They gave me that same feeling. And I knew right there that there had to be a, a way that I could tie my business in with my, my calling in life. And that is to serve other people. I think my, my logo says it all. And that is the edge of excellence. I enjoy uh, helping people, whether it be in sports and sales, or just in their life, achieving excellence in their life. And it's something you are passionate about. We've had the opportunity to do a couple groups so far, and we uh, tag team well, to say the least, right? We do. We we're a good we're a good a uh, good balance for each other. Now, I, I tend to be a little bit excitable. You'll notice that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had no. <laughs> the exciting thing about it, and I think I love that word exciting, is that you know there's a passion, there's a joy, there's a commitment that when we watch people make the transformation and see those light bulb moments, it, it's inspiring for us, as you said. And so you bring a wealth of wisdom to our communities and you also uh, have your own awareness of all the journeys you've been on because you've had some serious successes along the way. I have, I, I've been fortunate to work for some great companies that uh, gave me some excellent opportunities um, in the uh, in the sales arena, I, I was fortunate to be able to stand as a top performer performer in three major corporations. Actually, each one was an industry leading corporation in their category. Um, so it was a real thrill to do, um, and I like to pass that on. You know, it's something that that uh, other people can do if that's the, what they choose to do in life. Um, but I also think selling is really just connecting with people, as you know. April, it's absolutely no difference as you, as you know that when we coach somebody individually, if it's just coaching for themselves and their own performance, or we're coaching somebody that works for a corporation and wants to increase their performance through sales or SOAR or some other way, leadership um, or uh, management in those arenas. It's really all the same thing. And it all starts with, with making really deep connections with other people. And you have a wonderful tool that you've incorporated into giving some simple modules for that. You've also had some of your clients have some huge successes as well. Yeah, this uh, uh, yeah. I've had probably a dream couple weeks as a coach. Mm -hmm. um, I always said when I coach the uh, when I coach my kids in high school that their success for me for them is not just what they do on the football field or the lacrosse field. I coach girls lacrosse in high school and and guys football. And um, I tell them it's, the success is going to be 25 years from now. And when I see you again, and what you're doing with your life and how you're changing the world for good, because that's my goal. And uh, being in it for a while now, over 15 years, I've now seen them grow up and, and uh, some are married now and some are, 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 are uh, 
uh, having children, and some are really in some spectacular careers. And I can remember them saying to me, you know, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a heart surgeon, I want to be this. And I would laugh and say, I hope so, because someday you may have to save my life. Um, <laughs> and I think you'll be nice to me. <laughs> so, um, but it's a real thrill to do that. And it's, it, this last couple of weeks, I've had the opportunity of some of the people that I coached years ago um, mm -hmm. have really, uh, you know, part of our, our program is working on people on their goals and dreams. And when you um, help them to, to understand how to achieve their goals, and then they do it. We don't do the work, you know that, April. They do the work. And then it's a real joy when they pick up the phone and they say, you know, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. Or you certainly were a big part of where I am in my, my life or my career right now. It's just better than the pay. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, I always felt that if I could change one person's life, that would be enough. But we work in a profession where we can change people's lives sometimes hundreds of times in a year. It's just fantastic. And Cliff, that is one of the wonderful gifts that we get to experience is choosing how we be purposeful about creating just, you know, even one life, one hour, whatever it may be. And we purposely started moving into some associations so that we can really have a greater impact. And real quick, anything you'd want to share on that? And then uh, I'll give you our final question for that we love to dive into, which is always the most intriguing. Uh, absolutely. We, um, you know, coaching in corporations for the last five years, um, has been a, bit, a bit of thrill, you know, and, and to work with these people and see them as they uh, have succeeded and achieved excellence in their profession. But I think that for me and you, and as I told you, I think we can impact more people. You know, uh, our real mission is to, um, to, to share these gifts that we have in helping people um, and let them serve at a higher level themselves. So the question was, is how can we do more of that? How can we get to more people? And uh, fortunately, we're very close to, to being able to be promoted by an association in the ins insurance industry um, to help uh, independent insurance reps with their business and uh, succeeding in sales through our courses. And um, to me, it's, it's thrilling because, I mean, we all uh, live in neighborhoods and we know how many independent insurance agents are out there. And uh, they, they provide a critical service to us uh, and especially now in these times. And um, the, the ability to, to take this program and show them how it works and, and helping them succeed in their business, but better yet, serving people better uh, and, and uh, uh, fulfilling the needs that are in the marketplace is, is going to be, a, a, I think, an outstanding opportunity, not only for us, but for them too. Absolutely. And we put, we shared a video testimony of a gentleman that we got to impact in our previous, one of our test pilot groups. Uh, and, uh, and I've been running the pro, one of my programs a, as part of our base platform for about three years now. And you've got to see that firsthand that, uh, and never mind when we add in your expertise uh, to the gifts that we're going to be able to provide. We watch transformation in front of us, right? Yeah. All I can say is if you're out there listening to this, Take the program. You'll understand. <laughs> you'll <laughs> we'll understand. Put, we'll put a link uh, to the program in our comments. So uh, and, and I wholeheartedly agree with you. Uh, so with that, the one question I love to end on this year, our Freedom Fridays is the concept to have the freedom to discuss whatever we want to discuss, to have the, oh, just to inspire people to cause them to think a little bit deeper, right? And so one of the things that we really had to go into this season is just the awareness of perceptions. And we're in a season where perception is a really big challenge, right? Boy, uh, massive, huh? Massive. Oh, <laughs> deep conversation, right? <laughs> and we, we're, going, we're going into it deeper in the next few months, that's for sure, right? Exactly. Yet, one of the things that I think is a valuable thing to walk away with is, you know, if you were to contemplate one of the perceptions that's been a major life changer for you, what would you share? What, would, what have you discovered? How have you overcome it? You know, I... I, I I'm in the process of writing a book and one of the, I think one of the big messages of the books are uh, that um, the worst perception I think you can have is of yourself. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I had, as I, I like to tell people, I had no special talents. I was not a superstar in school. 
Um, I was not uh, gifted musically um, like some people are. I was not gifted athletically like anyone was. Um, but I was fortunate enough to have an outstanding set of parents and grandparents um, who instilled to in me that I could do anything that I, that I put my mind to. And that was huge for me. And, but society had a different look at me, right? Uh, it, it looked at me completely different to that me. As I, as I said at my mom's funeral, my mom lied to me. She just simply lied to me. But my mom was a brilliant liar. And that was, she knew that building my confidence up, that I would be able to take the battering that society was going to give me in that. And, uh, but the beautiful part about perceptions is they can be changed. Mm -hmm. And when you change your own perception of yourself, then the world sees you differently. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay? And uh, I think for me, it really through sports came to me, uh, through a great uh, coach who inspired me to, to work harder than I ever worked in my life and to never give up. I was able to ex uh, achieve success on the football field and then uh, carry that to college where I didn't think that I would do well because I didn't do well in high school. Mm -hmm. And I did uh, well enough in college uh, to graduate in four years and then, then take that to a career in selling, which I didn't really want to do e that either. But, you know, the Lord has plans for us. And if, we, if we're good enough to work hard and uh, don't let our own perceptions of ourselves get in the way mm -hmm. or anybody else's, then I think anything is achievable. 100% agreed, 100% <laughs> agreed. And that is exactly what we have so much fun in, in uh, providing a platform and an opportunity for people to discover where they are, where they wanna be and what's in the way and how we can give them the tools and resources to get there. And so uh, we'll share the Master League competition, which is one of our tools. And then you've got a few on your resources that I'll put on there as well. And, you know, the opportunity is always, I'm excited to partner with you. I'm excited to watch. I've already sent out quite a few invitations to some of the association friends I'm aware of as we were talking about that. We're building a landing page for those informations as we get there. So we're open to customize and prepare for people so that we can really, I mean, you've got teams that you have led. I've got teams that I've led and put us together. And boy, that's just going to be a lot of fun. Look out world. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Have an amazing weekend, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And we will get this live in just a few minutes. Thanks, Cliff. Thanks, Have a great it. weekend. Bye-bye.